Hey guys, it's Way and I got back with another review and today I have the Lego Ninjago Legacy series. Um today I got Cole vs Ghost. I'm very excited for these. This is epic battle set. Um set number 71733, age of six and up, and 51 pieces. So I for some reason have been very excited for these. Um I'm not sure what really leads me to liking these for some reason but i'm very excited um just got a few few features and also uh um give you like a little bit of a battle uh that they got going on and at the very top of it you got the other different sets uh the other three sets that are that come with this uh little series um but i am definitely excited so without further ado all right and i am back so it was a quick build it wasn't too hard um quite a few extra pieces not too many um you got the extra weapons here for coal you got a little small builds like this like a i guess you call it like a hot dog cart I'm not I'm not quite sure just let me know in the comments down below but it does bring an extra one here it's pretty cool not as not too not too many uh extra pieces just a little technica blue piece and then uh extra kind of master of coal um you also got this new turnstile that they're doing um it actually works pretty perfect if you actually attach them right there on the little plate um you just run this little rubber piece down through it and it actually works um i definitely would uh would use it if i am doing some stuff <laughs> But a simple build for sure. Um, nothing too hard. That to the side, and then you got the I guess the main build of the actual set. Um, not uh, this was a very simple build. It was not hard at all. I'm I'm gonna keep saying that to be honest. But it wasn't at all in this whole set. Nothing was very hard to build. Um, I actually kind of like this little lantern that they got going on. Um, it does bring a little pot, and it does bring an egg right here. Um. I like this actually kind of like a darkish navy blue kind of color that they're using on here. It blends in very well, especially with the theming of it. Um, but yeah, that's that. And then you got the actual uh, Ghost Warrior. This is my first time actually getting one of these, so I'm actually kind of excited. Um, that I guess this is his weapon. Take that off. And then you also have the decal printing on there. And then you also got the decal printing on the back. He doesn't have a double-sided face. He only has one, uh, one face, which is actually pretty cool. Um, you could definitely use it as for any other minifigure as a villain if you wanted to. And then you got the ghost legs. Pretty cool. I actually kind of like it. I might get another one. Um, who knows? Um, but yeah, I actually kind of like the theme that they got. Ooh, kind of theme they got going on with these uh, new sets. Um, especially I think they're in season fourteen right now, which is crazy. But uh, yeah. I like that they're pumping off sets still. And then you got Cole right here. With the, I guess you could call it, it says that it's uh, his uh, ultimate weapon, I guess you could say it. Um, yeah, it says ultimate weapons included. So I'm guessing it's this one because it's the only one that's like that. I attached this one because uh, I actually kind of like it. I feel like it's uh, more intimidating, especially in a battle. Take that off, put it back there. And then you got the decal printing on him in the front. And then, like printing is pretty cool. I like how they're uh, been up and up their game as far as printing on the minifigures. You also got uh, the back printing right there. He does have a dull side of face, kind of like a pissed off face on that one. And then, if you turn that around, he's got a little smirk. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. I like how they uh, got the double side of face uh, for him. Um, I was like, when a minifigure has a double-sided face, it definitely comes in handy, especially if you're doing some stop-motion video. Um, this is my first actual epic battle set, so I'm actually kind of, um, I'm actually very pleased with it, especially for the LEGO Ninjago's uh, Legacy series. Um, nothing too much to say about it. Pricing was pretty good. I think it was about ranging about 10 bucks, so it was pretty good, especially for the stuff that you get. So, uh, out of 10, I definitely have to give it a 9 nine out of ten um i just wish it was a little bit more of a build as far as like an actual building um but obviously i know they don't focus on that as far as these sets so uh yeah 
this has been Sway. I got for another review for y'all today. And remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more content like this if you guys enjoy. And then I will see y'all in the next video.